Hey, what's up there? How's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to reduce your zinc or what things actually reduce your zinc. Um, if you're concerned about over accumulating zinc in your body because you are taking too many supplements or taking or eating too much shellfish, again, uh, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. This is just my personal opinion based on my experiences, my research. So here we go. Things that increase your zinc. Number one is oysters, uh, shellfish, beef, as well as uh, organ meats. They're pretty high in zinc. So if you eat a lot of those, if your diet is high, high in those, you're getting a lot of zinc and zinc is essential it's great you know it helps your immune system wards off any kind of I was gonna say evil spirits but uh, wards off any kind of uh, you know uh, like colds and flu so it basically stimulates your immune system as well as uh, for guys I don't know about girls but for guys it uh, stimulates sperm production and um, you know, so it, it enhances your sexy life, sexy time. Having that said, you know, too much of zinc is not good. Even though zinc is essential, you got to make sure that you have it in the right um, amount in your body because too much zinc, it's going to block uh, copper absorption. So copper is another essential mineral essential um, metal and uh, too much zinc will um, prevent copper absorption and you might uh, become copper deficient which is really rare to be copper deficient because uh, a, a lot of people from what I understand they have too much copper but in my case you know I think I have I had too much zinc because I was taking the zinc supplements in the multivitamin plus I was taking some plus some because I was doing the heavy metal chelation and for getting rid of heavy metals in the body um, zinc is highly recommended because the chelators um, that remove the toxic heavy metals they also take out the uh, zinc um, they deplete it so things that so if you you know if you feel like I feel like you had too much zinc which prevented um, copper absorption and you may think that you have uh, not enough copper then one way to um, decrease your zinc and this is not a prescription this is based on my experience and my research one way to decrease zinc obviously stop taking any kind of zinc supplements stop eating the uh, zinc rich foods that I just mentioned earlier in this video um, but also what depletes zinc is alcohol con consumption again alcohol consumption um, you know probably not the greatest way but you know if you drink anyway just be conscious that alcohol depletes your zinc also um, if you're a guy um, you know how should I word it if, if you um, if you if you have if you um, have sexy time <laughs> if you remove your sperm uh, whether you know whatever it takes to remove your sperm <laughs> from your body whether it's sexy time or some other means uh, when you deplete your sperm you deplete your zinc stores because your sperm relies on zinc okay um, so having that said and then if you're trying to rebalance the copper because you have too much zinc um, foods that are rich in copper are uh, plant plant based is cacao cacao is rich in copper as well as mushrooms um, creamy mushrooms those brown ones um, as well as um, the one that's called oyster mushrooms as well as the one that shiitake mushrooms 
Um, so those are pretty high in copper. Uh, what else is high in copper is beef liver. But you have to be conscious that it's also a good source of zinc. So And they kind of compete. So keep that in mind. Um, what else is good in copper? Soy products. Um, I definitely don't recommend any kind of non-fermented soy products because of the estrogen mimicking ability of soy foods that have not been fermented but things like tempeh which has been fermented as well as shoyu which is soy sauce without weird preservatives um, are sources potential sources of copper um, so yeah hopefully this helps of course there are genetic conditions linked to either over over accumulation of copper in the liver which can be fatal um, so those are genetic condition Menke's disease and Wilson's disease uh, they're kind of opposite of each other uh, and deal with copper but those are relatively rare um, usually you know regular people if they drink tap water and they have copper pipes they get usually get copper from the water um, I filter we filter all of our water so we don't get copper from the water our water is always reverse osmosis even on the shower we have a filter that eliminates like 98% or 99% of all the bad stuff including chlorine uh, luckily we don't have fluoride in our water um, having that said yeah so keep in mind if you drink tap water you could be getting copper already so a good way to test it you can do a um, hair mineral analysis and uh, doctor's data is the lab that I use for my chelation therapy but they also do um, besides the toxic heavy metals like mercury, lead, zinc, and all that. I mean, sorry, not zinc, um, which, which can be toxic if, if it's too much, actually. But um, they do do the essential mineral analysis. So I will probably do that one because I do want to know like my essential minerals uh, stores through the hair. I've never done a hair mineral, but it's something that I would like to do in the future. Um, what symptoms can you expect from copper? Uh, not having enough copper is um, anemia. You actually need copper for your body's iron utilization and synthesis. Yeah, so if you don't get enough copper, you may be anemic because it's not. Um, helping your iron get into the blood um, also which is in my case I've had slightly low white blood cell counts that's one of um, symptoms of low copper is actually lower than normal white blood cell counts I didn't know that before it could also be a sign of adrenal uh, fatigue or adrenal exhaustion as well but I recently learned that copper is um, could be the cause of the lower than normal white blood cells and of course leukemia can be uh, one of those or problems with the bone marrow and production because your blood cells come from the bone marrow so um, unfortunately leukemia can be a potential sign of low white blood cells but um, in my case it's probably the low copper uh, because I had too much zinc and uh, exhausted it adrenals because I overburn my adrenals don't recommend it so take care of your adrenals it's important because once you burn them out it's gonna take a while to recover it can take a year or more depending on severity anyway thanks for watching hopefully um, you know this was informative again this is not a prescription or professional health advice this is just me exercising my freedom of speech and uh, make sure you get together with a professional doctor who knows 
um, their stuff and they're just they're not just prescribing prescribing you some kind of pharmaceutical drug that will create more side effects so thanks for tuning in and see you next time peace